youtube man welcome back to another video man and as you can see from the thumbnail and the title man we got a box to build for one of my friends this is our returning customer my boy china this is the third vehicle that we actually do for him and man we're gonna build a badass ported box for his chevy tahoe with two 12 inch jlw sixes man these subs have been holding up like champ um and today we're gonna design the box man so we can guarantee him a loud banger so let's get to it We got 212 jail W6s, man. These things have been in three different cars. I built all the buckets for all the all the installs they've been in. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead and put these guys in a, a Chevy Tahoe, and we are gonna design the box today for them, man. Um, these subs are actually gonna get a 3,000 watt base series Terra amps, man. So you know these things are gonna bump. Is that a lot of power? Yes, but do we want to put that power? yes you know we want these things to jam out you know it is a ported box that we are going to build um so if we would have just ran 2000 watts it would have been fine man but what's the fun of that man so we're going to go ahead and put 3000 watts on these guys so these things can bang so there's a chevy tahoe it's kind of open i really feel that a nice ported enclosure for that would be the best um application for that right there so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to fire both of the subs up and the port firing back um, we got a lot of space to work with since it's only 212, so we're going to design a really badass box for these guys. We are going to actually use my formula that I always use for all the ported boxes that I put for 12-inch subs. I pretty much use this formula for any uh, ported box that I build for 12-inch subs, and listen, this thing bangs. But I usually do a 20 long-inch port, but this one we're going to go ahead and probably put like a 25 um, long port in it, just because, you know, my boy, he listens to a lot of slowdown music. Um, and you know, we want him to be able to hit, you know, those extra low notes so that thing can really get it. A few moments later. Man, it's such nice weather out right now. I was like, man, let's go outside real quick, uh, shoot this video, design the box outside, and get some fresh air, man, because it feels really good out here right now, man. It's been, like, rainy, somewhat uh, cold these past few days, but, man, we are ready to get down and build this box. This box is pretty much going to go in the cargo area, and today we're just going to go ahead and design the box so you guys can see um, what we got going on, and then if you guys want to build a 212 um sub box for uh suv or your trunk or whatever this is a nice little formula that we are going to do uh, and i'm going to show you how to figure out the air spaces and everything um so then you guys can go ahead and give it a, a shot so the other day i took the liberty of taking some quick measurements so from wheel well to wheel well we got 48 inches uh the depth we can play with 20 but we're going to go ahead and play with that um, and then you know the height is 22 of so the box is gonna be square and then it's gonna have we can probably just do one slot port along the bottom and then a sub on top sub on top and then we are gonna brace this guy up from top to bottom and from side to side so this thing is nice and solid so it can produce a mad bait if for some reason we gotta stay in this 20 inch deep uh wideness of the box we're gonna have to like snorkel the port so it's gonna have to like go back and then go up you see what i'm saying so we can be able to get um the full port length that we need before we get started let's see how much airspace is inside this guy right here with our trusty 12 volt.com box uh calculator uh volume calculator that we have here so we're gonna end up doing two cubes for the subs per sub and then we are going to do a 40 square inch port, uh, 25 inches long for the port. So overall we need, we'll say 4.5 because of port, um, braces and everything. And then we're going to need the 40 square inch port. Uh, we'll do 25 inches long. Let's put our numbers in real quick and see what we got. So it's 48, height 22 because that's window line of the window and depth 20. 
0.75 because we're gonna only use uh, three quarter because it's just 212. It's not, nothing too crazy. So that automatically that is 10 cubes. That, if we were doing 412s, that'd be perfect, guys. But since we're only gonna do 212s, we need to bring it down some. So the wideness, I think we're gonna redo. So let's go ahead and do. Um, let's see. Let's do 30. Height 22, depth 20, 0.75 equals 6.25. That's still kind of a lot. Okay, so what we're going to actually do, we're going to keep the, the 30 just because, you know, we have subs that need to have their own space. Height, we're going to go ahead and drop it probably, let's do uh, 15, and that we'll just say 25. Thickness 0 0.75 equals 5 point. See if you guys can see that 5.23. So we're getting somewhere. So now we just need to shrink it down a hair. But I think we're gonna end up just shrinking it with the height. Okay, so 30. We'll do 13. That we'll do 25.75 equals. That's actually a pretty good number right there. I think 4.45, that would be excellent. So let's go ahead and jot these numbers down. Box, so we're gonna do 30, and these are external numbers. 13 and then 25. Actually, this is gonna be 25. So now we have our dimensions and this equals up 4.45. Okay, now we actually have our total volume for our box that we need and is 4.45. Now let's figure out um, 40 square inches so we can figure out our port. We got 40 square inch, um, inches that we need for our port. So basically we just got to find two numbers, times them together to equal up 40 to go ahead and give us our port. But we want a slot. So what we're going to end up having to do is we're going to have to subtract 1.5 from each one of these numbers but mainly from the front just so we can figure out how high we have to come up with our, our slot port because um, it's going to be here in the front and so it's just you know going to be a front piece but not all the way down because it's going to have a slot and then on that front piece we're going to have to build um, a top of the port and then a snorkel going up from the port so it's like a slot you'll see as we're building uh, what i'm talking about well, to figure out your internal dimensions, you're just going to have to, so obviously we know it's three quarters, um, the piece of wood that we're using, the thickness. So we're going to have to times that times two, and that gives us 1.5 uh, when you join them together. So now to figure out our, you know, dimensions of everything that we need, we're going to go ahead and subtract 1.5 from each one of these numbers so it can give us our internal dimensions. So 30. 30 subtract 1.5 equals 28. Some of you guys can probably do this in your head. I can't. So that's why we got a good old trusty calculator and that's what they're made for. 23.5. 13.5. 13 subtract 1.5 equals 11.5. Okay. So with this one right here, this number, we're going to have to figure out uh, how high we need to come up or not come down with it so we can figure out our port. So 28.5, we'll say times 0.5, half an inch. So we next need to come up a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do 28.5 times 1.38 equals 39 so that's pretty good for our port so um, the height of our port is going to be one right, right here height or height if my spelling is wrong I'm sorry we'll do 1.38 so that's how high we actually have to come up off the floor of the box and our front piece has to stop and then it's gonna give us our slot port right there. And then obviously when we come in there um, and figure out our length, we're gonna to have to snorkel that guide so it can come up, man. And that thing is so gonna Let's go ahead and draw a neater final 
blueprint of our box. So this is going to be external. So our measurements are going to be 30, 25, and 13. And the internal is going to be 28.5, 23.5, 23.5. And then 11.5. So basically, like I said, so we're gonna have a sub up here, uh, two subs on top. Let me draw some quick for some subs. Um, these dotted lines right here represent our port. So we're just gonna port, and this is gonna be our port dimension. So our port is actually gonna be 28 and a half by one and three eighths. Um, height uh, 25 inches long long height and width. really excited to start building this box man I think so like I said like Tuesday Wednesday uh, we're gonna go ahead and build a box my boy just wanted me to go ahead and um, design the box real quick and then we're gonna get started look I already got the table saw here uh, man I got this thing right here to organize a few things but hopefully uh, within time man we can be stationed up in an actual workshop man that is the goal for 2023 for the most part man we got this box design going I'm ready to build it uh, we're gonna tweak it as we go to make sure that everything's on point and this thing is gonna be loud and like I said man these subs have been within uh, three different installs and they've been banging all the way and I I don't even know how they're still alive They've been put through a lot of abuse. These things actually had a match 3000 put on them at one point And I mean now we're gonna go ahead and test the waters with that Terra Amps 3k So it could you know bang or they're gonna blow but you know these JLW 6s have actually been holding up I love JL audio man. I'm not even gonna lie and these are some big boys So this thing is gonna quad out and for it being an SUV Ported box in it, man. That thing is gonna jam. Stay tuned, man. Subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for that video when we start building this for the next. I think it's actually gonna be the next video on these subs is gonna be building it, man. So definitely stay tuned for that. Drop some comments and let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit that like, man. My goal this year, man. Let's try to get over a hundred likes on every single video from now on, guys. Man, it's 2023. Man, we're at the point of 5K subscribers. Man, we should be getting over a hundred likes on every video. That is it for your boy, man. It is Monday. Man, we got the kids here. I'm going to start editing this video and drop it for you guys to watch later on tonight. So subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.